Well, today many athletes and teams have been posting messages of solidarity in response to the death of George Floyd. Alex Glaze has more on why statements and social media trends are no longer enough, especially from college teams and coaches. Black lives matter. Why is that so hard for college football and basketball coaches who make a lot of money off the blood, sweat, and tears of black athletes to say? This weekend, all I saw was cookie cutter statements from coaches and teams denouncing racism, calling for love, peace, and unity. And that's nice, but it's not enough. Listen to your players, talk to them, ask how you can be a part of the change that is so much needed right now. Every year coaches go into the homes of black families and look a mother or father in the eye and tell another family that they're going to treat that family's son as if he were their own. But how many coaches called their player crying, worried about them simply existing this weekend like my mother did? How many coaches went beyond denouncing racism, which is an easy thing to denounce, and denounced police brutality? How many college coaches even try to understand what their players are going through on a regular basis? People are out marching in the streets because police are killing black people and not being held accountable. Black lives matter and not just when you're benefiting from them. Denouncing racism and quoting Martin Luther King isn't enough. 